Hello, party people! Hello, welcome back. Welcome, honestly, because I started my YouTube channel a year ago. Literally broke my camera a month in. It took like two months to get a new one because that insurance, thank the Lord I got insurance. By the time May hit, I got my camera back. I just was like, whatever. I'm over it, not feeling it. And I kind of just took a break from creating content. I was like, go, go, go. Got a new job, just life happens. But we're here, we're back. I'm Jani, half of Fashion Curious with my mother. Started on Instagram, we now do a Pinterest. Follow us on all the platforms. Currently trying to figure out TikTok, such as life, but we're here. So today's video includes some of my favorite items that I just took on my trip. We went to Bangladesh. Nobody ever decided to go there. I could even do a video, but it's not like top 10 places to travel. It's just not. They are one of the largest, most densely populated places. I tell people we're going to Bangladesh, you're like, you're going to the Bahamas? Yeah. I wish, no, but honestly, it was an amazing experience. We spent three weeks there. I had a slight little depression coming back because I lived my best life. It was honestly the first vacation that I took ever. So like I've taken vacations from work, but when you take like seven to 10 day vacations, it's just not it. Like the first half of the trip, you're getting there, you're on vacation, halfway through, you're like, oh shit, I gotta work again. Then you're thinking about what you gotta do to get back to work or you're checking your emails. But for this trip, I had two weeks basically to not think about work. And my last week, I honestly forgot about work, forgot what I did, that I was not pressed. And then I got back to America, which 24 hours of the travel, my sleep schedule is ruined. I go to sleep at 4 p.m., wake up at 2 a.m., like, 2 to 5 a.m. I'm up moving around like what is this life and by 5 p.m. I'm ready to go to bed but Bangladesh if you have a chance third world countries or like Southeast Asia or like South Asia at all you get immersed into a culture that is honestly so amazing everybody was so welcoming I can go on and on make videos about it I'll be honest with you when I say our experience is different because we were in a bit of a bubble most of our friends that live there are on the I don't even know if it's a wealthier side, but I guess, yeah, it's basically rich and poor. So they're on the wealthier side, let's say. So you don't get the true experience of what a day-to-day -day person would be experiencing there. Apart from the food, when you are surrounded by that those kind of people, it's basically like a mini America everywhere you go. Which is not bad, you know, drivers, cooks, nice places to stay, didn't have to worry about anything. Like, we were living our best life. Like, I got back to America, like, where is my driver? But 10 out of 10, best experience ever. Honestly, I would consider moving there. Lots of opportunity, we'll see. Like small businesses, entrepreneurs, they are looking for people to come, they're looking for people to learn from. Anyways, this video is some of my favorite items. I'll start all time favorite items that I took with me on the trip and then just some like everyday staples that I had that just kind of made traveling exponentially easier. Do not mind my voice. Honestly, we all got sick or a good amount of us, half of us got sick on the trip. The bride and groom got COVID. I had this like gross manly cough. Now, to be fair, step one, there's pollution. Like the air quality, horrendous, TMI, but my snot was like black, which could be like dried blood, whatever it is, not fun. Oh, I just walked out the stairs out of breath. But also, COVID potentially. Ugh. I tested four times. They were all negative. Now I know there's like the false negatives, whatever the case may be. Even did the mouth test, nothing. So, first item on the list. I honestly don't know what this is called. Don't judge me. <laughs> it is this thing very small it is for your headphones so i went on the trip with my boyfriend and you know everybody has their own little station to listen to their own movies but like we wanted to watch a movie together like you know hang out together this thing you can basically connect two headphones into one and listen to the same show ah! i loved it i loved it. it's honestly like we spent 24 hours on a play like it was getting bored and I want us to be nosy, see what he's doing. He wants to be nosy, see what I'm like watching. So we get to like pick movies, watch them together. You either watch them on one screen or we even try to time up like two screens and play at the same time just in case my angle wasn't as good for him. They both equally work and if you want a little date in the sky, watch the same movie, get your food. This, ugh. 
I loved it. It was so cute. Now, if your significant other doesn't like cute stuff, just get them on board because it was a good experience. So, it's basically a headphone connector jack situation. Do not know the real name, I apologize. Next on the list is this little bag. You know, when you go to other countries and everybody has their own little wall outlet situation. So annoying, I get it. You know, as an American, I think that everything should be our way, but I do get like, it's not always the best way and everybody can do what they want. So, let's just say it came like this. But basically, it is a set of little wall outlet adapters that conveniently you can all stick them together so you don't lose them. Obviously, when you go to a country, only one of them will work. But if you don't quite know which one, it's nice to just, you know, have all of the possible options figured out there. Obviously, the smart thing to do is know exactly which one you need for the country and use that one and buy multiple. But not only were we going to Bangladesh, but we were also having overlays in other countries. So it was just convenient to have all of these. Most airports should have some sort of adapter already or like universal outlet that you can use. But just in case they don't, this is super convenient to have all in one. And you just carry it around like a big stick. These have multiple different options. Unplug it like this and this. And then you just plug it right back in. Super nice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Also have extra extension cord if you need it. And then this bad boy. So basically you have this, which you can connect with your little adapters. Plug this in because it works in all of them. Connect this piece right here with this thing right here. And then you get two outlets, which is super nice. And then you just power it on and off and it also has USB outlets as well. I learned the more the merrier, especially in a hotel across the country, you don't know how many outlets you're close to. I am a tech snob, so you don't got my laptop, got my iPad, got my iPhone, got all the things, or my boyfriend does, or like, I don't wanna reach across the room. The outlets like by the desk but I want it right beside me because I can't get off my phone you know 24 7 so it's super nice to have options and then with this bag so you just put it all in the bag and you're moving the other things that I got which looks crusty now because I think some oil spilled on it so there's a normal mirror and then there's the 10x this is my first 10x mirror and I'm not gonna lie it is aggressive I try to get a little dizzy looking too closely at it because it's just like boom in your face like you're only seeing a small section of your face which like for blending impeccable like you're not missing a pore but sometimes it's just like too close lashes amazing but anyways they do have a 5X and a 10X. I would honestly say the 5X is just fine. And then you have this little contraption. So you can basically lay it any direction you would like to. It also hangs, which is really nice. And it made it super easy for doing it in bed, getting my makeup done in bed. We had so many wedding ceremonies to go to. Honestly, by day two, I was just like, uh, get me my makeup bag. It was rough, but you can do your makeup basically anywhere or look at yourself anywhere, hang it up anywhere. And it is just compact. It also has a charger for the lights. So you got light options here, warm, cool tones. And then, which I didn't use this feature, but if you hold it down, it adjusts the brightness of the light. This was amazing. I mean, it's a little big, but I was gone for three weeks and I didn't want a tiny little mirror. Most of the hotel rooms did have mirrors, but it's nice to be able to do my makeup anywhere in the room or like anywhere in the house. So, this, loved it. Amazon, we'll link. Amazon will link below. This is from Motherology. It has like my jewelry stuff, but it's very small and I wanted a bigger one. So I use this to have all my bigger jewelry. It does come in multiple sizes and I have my little monogram on it. My mom and I have matching ones. Besties for the resties, it's cute. And then I wanted more. So I just got this one on Amazon. Black is just simple, sleek, you know, with anything. It has a lot of options. I didn't really use them because it, it was just, I want it to be minimal. You've got options for like rings, earrings, all of the works, necklaces here. This extra pouch for smaller things. This you can fit all of your earrings in. And then I just utilize these compartments because I have a lot of smaller jewelry that I just wanted to keep organized and together. Amazon, uh, 
I was an Amazon snob towards the end of it, that two day shipping, because I was last minute, and so more options that I might have thought about, I did it. But yeah, those are some of the big things that I truly, truly loved. And then we've got our smart cube, no, packing cubes, no, what are these called? Travel luggage organizers, we'll just go, yeah, eh. So I got like a pack of nine, two packs of nine, because I realized quickly I got a lot of shit that I needed to pack and I wanted to organize or at least like separate, which makes getting ready super easy or like unpacking easy as well. So I initially got these and I got the gray because my suitcase is gray. They ran out of these when I went to go the second round. So I just bought black ones, which I like the black ones a lot more. They just look less cheap, but honestly the quality of these is really good. I bought two packs of nine, I believe, came in various sizes or like had like a toiletries bag, shoe bag, whatever. So this is the medium size. This is the larger size. And in this one I have like my home clothes I separated my jeans I separated my going out clothes my tops my workout clothes so it's just nice to kind of figure out oh we're doing this I go into this cube while we're doing this I go into this cube and also it really helped when my bags were overweight because I would just weigh the cube transfer it into another bag that was underweight and it was super simple opposed to like having to pick up each individual item and like refigure it out because we were like at the airport and honestly I packed until the very last second the day before I just wasn't feeling it so I went to bed at like 8 o'clock instead woke up scrambled so Packing cubes are great for that as well. So we are getting back on it. I'm not making promises, but my goal is to do something at least weekly, bi-weekly. We're gonna set realistic goals for myself, but I do enjoy this and I feel like I have a lot to share because I have the Bay's travel items that I'll do in another video. So you should stay tuned because it's like some good things and some bad things. We'll just have to get into it later, but. Thank you for listening. Always love feedback. Anything you want to see, let me know. I got you. Bye.